Amsterdam was shaken by violent clashes. Thursday night following the Europa League soccer match between Israel's Maccabi Tel Aviv and Dutch side Ajax. Anti-Semitic attacks on Israeli supporters, including beatings and ambushes by criminals on scooters, left several fans injured and led Dutch authorities to take immediate action. The city's mayor, Femke Halsema, condemned the attacks as criminal not protest-related, and express shame over the violent behaviour that unfolded. This is a terrible moment for our city, Halsema said, calling the assaults a hit-and-run attack on Maccabi fans and emphasising the city's commitment to ensuring safety, particularly for its Jewish residents. In response to the unrest, Amsterdam authorities imposed a three-day ban on demonstrations set to last until Sunday and ramped up security measures, including restrictions on face-covering clothing and items that could disrupt public order. Police also increased their presence in the city centre, particularly after reports of clashes and rising tensions in the days leading up to the game. The violence erupted after the match, which Ajax won 5-0 and involved groups of individuals targeting Israeli fans, several of whom were hospitalised. Footage shared by the Israeli embassy showed disturbing scenes of fans being ambushed, kicked while on the ground and assaulted with anti-Palestinian slurs. One video even depicted an individual being beaten while shouting, I am not Jewish, as he was chased through the streets. Dutch authorities arrested 63 individuals in connection with the violence and 10 remain in custody. Prime Minister Dick Schoof condemned the events as horrific, offering his full support to the Israeli government and assuring that the perpetrators would be prosecuted. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, deeply concerned by the anti-Semitic nature of the attacks, compared the violence to Kristallnacht, the 1938 Nazi pogrom against Jews in Germany. He urged Dutch officials to take swift action against the rioters and ensure the safety of Israeli citizens in the Netherlands. International reactions to the violence have been strong, with Israeli officials and the UN Secretary-General condemning the attacks. The Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs also voiced concern over anti-Arab sentiments displayed by some Maccabi fans, calling on the Dutch government to protect both Palestinians and Israelis from further violence. As the investigation continues, Dutch authorities are focused on ensuring public order and preventing further unrest, with heightened security expected for the coming days. The incident has ignited broader discussions about rising tensions and the challenges of maintaining peace amid the ongoing conflict in the Middle East.